When a man says, I'm tired, inquire, probe, demand him to elaborate because tired is different. Tired doesn't always mean sleepy. Tired can also mean that I'm tired of waking up, tired of moving on, tired of living, tired of losing. And you know that your man does not take losing well. And you know that your brother does not take losing well. And you know that your father does not take losing well. Do you know that your son does not take losing well? So if he feels like he's losing in the game of life, he might not take his ball and go home. He might go home and take some pills or a bullet. Your man's losing feels like he can't do anything, like he can't achieve anything, like he's not worth anything. And I know what you're probably thinking. Why can't he come to me and tell me that he's feeling suicidal like he tells me when he's hungry? Because society doesn't allow safe spaces for black men to do so. Because men of few words hardly use words like help or scared. Because a valuable man is cherished more than a vulnerable one. So a strong man push down our feelings deep down inside, turning temples into tombs. Tombs turn into tumors, ulcer, depression, anxiety. So it's pushed down so deep within and then. My best friend, who I've known for over 25 years, I'm godfather to his firstborn. His mother calls me son. Our black boy bond goes so far back that if he asked me to hide a body for him, I'd do it without question. We were discussing one time how he was feeling depressed and he thought about killing himself some years ago. And when I heard it, I was angry. I asked him, why couldn't you come to me? Why didn't you tell me? And his reply was, I didn't know that I could. Do you know what a cry for help from a black man sounds like? It sounds like.